This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. Hey guys, Josh and Obakura right here. Sometimes you want to visually impact a bass hit or sometimes you just want your footage to shake. I want to show you guys another way to implement an earthquake slash jitter, whatever you want to call it effect. This is through After Effects through the wiggle expression. Now expressions are things you can only do in After Effects and what it does is it completely animates your footage, completely taking away the need to do keyframing, which can get rigorous at times. Now there are all sorts of different types of expressions you can do, meaning there are all sorts of different ways you can animate your footage, but we're only gonna be looking at the wiggle expression for this tutorial. The wiggle expression is very, very easy to do. It doesn't matter if you have never done After Effects before, I'm gonna show you how to do it in this tutorial. The cool thing about using the wiggle effect is instead of using keyframings or other ways to create that jitter look, you can use the wiggle effect to create very, very minute vibrations, which would be very, very hard to create with any other way. All right, guys, so I'm here in Adobe Premiere. And I have a project that I've been working on. Right now, I want there to be a wiggle right when um, one girl steps into the car. There, right when she sits down in the car, bam, I want every, the whole screen to wiggle. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um, first, I'm going to double this track right here. So I'm gonna copy, copy, and then I'm gonna paste, control V. What I now have is I have two identical clips. The top clip, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to replace with After Effects composition. After Effects is now going to pop up. I'm now going to save this file as shake. I'm going to save. You're going to realize just how easy it is to use the software. The cool thing is whatever we do within After Effects is going to be changed in real time in the clip that we have here in Premiere. As you can see, this clip in Premiere has now become red because whatever we're doing in After Effects is gonna change in real time. Let's go back to After Effects. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the wiggle expression. Now check this out. We're gonna go into the clip, go into transform, then go into position. We're gonna make sure that position is selected and then we're gonna go into animation and then we're gonna to go to add expression. Now, in this new text box that appears, we're gonna type the wiggle expression. As I said, there are many expressions that you could use. We're just gonna use the wiggle expression to wiggle our clip. We're gonna type wiggle here, and then do parentheses, and then we're going to type the number of shakes you want per second. We're gonna try 300 right now. Then you're gonna do comma, and then you're gonna choose the wiggle's amplitude. We're gonna say 20, and then we're gonna put another parentheses, click off of it, and as you can see, the clip is now going to shake when we put plus, when we press spacebar to play. Now, as you can see, you can see the black edges as the clip shakes, so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go into scale right here and you're gonna actually scale it up so that the black edges are not seen. Now we're gonna save, Control S, or Command S on a Mac. And then if you go back to Premiere, you see that it has actually changed in real time. Now, if you remember, I only want this wiggle to affect the end of the clip. Well, an easy workaround that I usually use is, you remember this clip right here that's unchanged? This is the un unmodified clip that's below the modified clip within uh, After Effects. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut this clip, the modified clip, so that it only takes place at the very end. 
So you're gonna be viewing this clip, the original clip, until the very, very end, and then you can see the shake. We're gonna actually bring it right here. You can see, you can see the shake a little bit sooner. There you go. What I noticed, just a side note, if you click on here, you'll notice that this RGB curves has not been applied to this After Effects composition. So we need to paste that on here just so that the color grading is the same. There we go. Now that you've added your wiggle effect, it would be cool to add some kind of rumble or some kind of impact noise to emphasize the wiggle. Perfect guys. Now let's look at the entire piece. 